The tape says shorting the store permitted it. Spoofing permitted it. Naked shorting permitted it. Who made it legal? Wall Street, when they bought all of Congress to keep them silent. SEC Gov flounders in sidelines, then run bowing down to criminal board members. The entire system needs to be overhauled. And the apes have been saying this for years now. Hopefully some change comes soon. This ape said it perfect. I'm sure all the Adam Aaron bashers and AMC haters are just concerned about our financial well-being and looking out for us. That must be why they always warn us about AMC every day. Love how people look out for each other like that. Obviously, sarcasm. This ape says, still buying more AMC when I can afford to do so. And foster that flow, says AMC. Here's the thing. I'm still here. I'm not leaving. But I'm so zen that I don't even feel like posting all that much. Bullish. So I want to add this into a video because a few things on this. For one, if you're still in this play, comment down below and tell us all when you first spot your first few shares of AMC stock. Now on top of that, this ape fosters that flow has a good point. A lot of us are still in the position, but compared to way back in the day, there's not as much activity, there's not as many posts compared to what there used to be. And I'm talking about on the Reddit, I'm talking about on Twitter, and through other social media platforms. And in one hand, that's honestly okay. If the apes remain zen and just hold, which the OBV volume shows that they're doing so, I don't think the apes have any problem with that. But on the other hand, I do think that the apes have to get loud and have to continue to share what we've learned so far from being into this play for how long we've been in it. And on top of that, we have to continuously post new DD and new massive catalysts that could be right around the corner. Comment down below what you think though. Let's talk a little bit about AMC's fails to deliver. It's been a big topic as of recently with AMC being removed from the threshold security list and all the controversy among that. But look at Coke's recent FTDs. This is a report from last month or so. It's in the beginning of February, but you get the picture. Notice the difference between AMC and Coke. Gary Gensler said that these shorts take SEC to court when they don't like the regulations. I have had enough and we need to go after the SEC for not protecting retail. So the Coke FTDs, this was back in February, it shows that there's around 63 on a certain filing. There's 31, 38, 61. So, I mean, there's some, but nothing, you know, too crazy. If you look at AMC's fails to lever, we have numbers that are in the millions. Every single filing date in February is basically over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 million per filing. And this is exactly why the apes continuously try to bring up the fact of manipulation and the idea that the regulators or somebody needs to step in. It's as obvious as this.